Okay, this is for the Axial SCX6. This is the Injora axles. And just trying to determine uh, how to shim these or if they even need to be shimmed. Um, so we'll start off with a stock axle uh, pinion and spur or ring gear. And the stock, well, <clears throat> the truck comes with one shim on each side. You see the shims already on there. I got these off of eBay. Um, I think they their listing is like 179 or something like that. I offered them 162, and they accepted the offer. So I got these for 162 plus tax, free shipping. And they showed up within a week. It was pretty fast, pretty fast shipping. All right, so I've already, I've already had this thing all greased up, and I had the uh, this is the Vitavon uh, ring and pinion overdrive. This is the front axle. This is the overdrive from Vitavon. And then I just got in the mail the uh, Vitavon rear. This is actually front and rear, but I'm just going to pull the stock one and uh, replace it with the bit of on rear. So I got, they only sell them at, you know, two, because one's supposed to be for the front and one's supposed to be for the rear. So, I wish they'd sell singles. Awfully expensive, 100 bucks. Anyways. We'll put this in here and we'll check the slot back and forth. So you should see that it has play back and forth. Now I know uh, everybody's using, everybody's, when you ask what shims to use, when people ask what shims to use, everybody's suggesting the Arma. And you get four shims for, I don't know, eight bucks plus usually shipping and then the tax. I got this Mugen shim set, which is 30 shims in 1.0, or 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3, 12 by 15. So, <clears throat> for for 12 bucks, you get all these shims, versus four, four of the Arma shims. I'll give you guys a better look at that. And I got these, I think it was either Amazon or eBay. Anyways, as you can see, there's side slop. Side to side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot this all the way that way. This is with one shim on this side and one shim on that side. Typically this is the side you want to add extra shims. You're going to add the shims between the bearing and, and the face right there. So I'll take that out. And this is the side you want to add the bearings right in between here. Or I mean the shims. And there's one already. So again, there's one shim on there, and that comes, um, that's how it comes out of the uh, Axial SCX6, the honcho anyways. Slide this in, you'll notice that there's play back and forth. Now this is what I find, inter what I find interesting, is I think Injora is using this lip right here. Which goes right it right 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 down in there, 
and the bearing sits right in here to push that over um because when i put it on right now i got it pulled all the way this way pull all the way that way when you put this on and then take it back off it has been pushed that way so we'll put it on When I felt it when I was put it on, I felt it hit the side here and kind of push it that way. Then we'll take it off. And you'll see I'll be able to pull it back again. See that? Let's do it again. I felt it hit and kind of push over. Pull it off push it back put it on pull it off and we'll see if I can push it this way any, any further oops well that kind of rocked let's do that over okay it's on there let me see if I can hold it from rocking it's not moving it's not going that way but it will go this way so i think that you might not necessarily need shims with this however i'm gonna shim i'm gonna put as many bearings as i can put on there or do or i'm gonna put as many shims as i can put on there until i can't put this on So we're going to use the 0 0.2 shims because that's what the, the armor ones are. But I have, you know, 0 0.1 and 0 0.3. I'm not sure what the guys are suggesting. I think they're going with two total. So I'm going to add one, test it, add another, test it, and see what happens. There's one added, so I got two on this side. Just have a little less movement. Test to see if this will fit. And it still goes on. We'll add another one. There's one more, the other two are on the bearing. Slider into place. All right, that's tight right there. It's not closing all the way. Means that my uh, short term memory brain just forgot how many are actually on there. I think there's three total. Yeah, it's stuck on there. So that kind of verifies what I was thinking that this, uh, that lip right in there helps shove everything over to, uh, hmm, to shim it. So I'll pull one off. I'll count them, make sure I know how many is on there. One, two, three. So we only need to add one extra shim. So we'll add our two shims. I got a little something in there. I saw a piece of hair. Put our two shims on there. Cat hair out there. Let's 
slider in. It's not as much movement, but with three shims, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the cover on. Slide that on. So that should be a good gear mesh. That's that's all you can do. You can't get in there and look at the the gear lash or anything. It'd be nice to have like a clear one of these, but I don't even know if you can see it even then. Maybe if I slide the axle in. That side. There's that side. Now I can check for gear lash. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. Take that off. See if I can feel a little better. It doesn't feel too tight. Put this back on. Well, it feels really smooth. So with the with the Enjora axle, the front axle anyways, we'll do the rear axle in a minute. Um, I think you just need two shims. The, the stock one that it comes with, and then just one more shim. Just one more of those little tiny thin ass shims. You add three shims. And this cover won't go on. So that's with the that's with the stock setup. That's the stock spur pinion. Now I think it's going to be the same thing with the uh, Vitavon. This is the overdrive gear <clears throat> for the front axle. So I think it's going to be the same thing for the overdrive, but we'll test her out just in case. 